telling you now. I have plans that I cannot share with you right now because the haters will sabotage me. I have plans that I will not share right now because the haters will sabotage me. But I got some stuff in the works. Here I come. Oh, here I come. <laughs> How's it going everybody? My name is Swanee and welcome back to another video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the one hour Swanee special. Uploading that video to Patreon took four plus hours. Um, it just took way too long to process. Exporting a one hour video sucked, but was it worth it? Yes, you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. Read all your comments, it was great. Also, I got a comment asking why I don't look at the camera. And during my old setup, I would have the whole room lit up and I could actually see my camera but now that I have it studio style and I have all these lights around me I cannot see anything past the light and the camera is behind the light so every time I go to look for the camera I look past it and I look like an idiot I need to think of a way maybe I should put like a marker or some kind of reflector next to the camera um, so, because I want to look at the camera I just I look stupid every time I do so so I've got my pen ready my notebook is not ready I feel bad for him he's gonna get put through the ringer but you guys said these were big lore drops and you guys also reassured me that it's okay to pause and go back and you know kind of break things down on the spot which I do appreciate because I, I do have a bad habit of pausing a lot just because again I, I like catching the little details and I think they mean a lot I mean Isayama doesn't put them in there for nothing guys I respect his eye to detail I respect you know the cinematography aspect of all the angles and you know the drops and my favorite part of all the subtleties it's the small things that really get me and again like Jean's hair it slowly growing over the seasons like that is such a great touch him teasing me with the basement the entire episode you know what if the basement flooded oh my god the key doesn't fit oh it's in this drawer we got the key for the drawer but the drawer's empty it's a trick drawer it's got stuff underneath it he's just a big troll and i love him i love him for that so i'm gonna do a small recap of the last episode before i get into the next one and first i'd like to say that the pacing of the episode was very well done i like how they didn't rush the basement reveal and although yes they dragged it out it was it was beautiful right we got to see mikasa and aaron go through the town that was once so lively the the town where they called home the streets were filled with people laughs good times you know we saw hannes on the crate drinking and playing poker with his buddies we saw the woman in the shop we saw you know aaron's mom hanging up the the blanket or the laundry and it was very beautiful they were seeing what they had once had before the very eyes just sadly in an overgrown state but anyway the pacing of the episode was very well done also the basement reveal like i said isayama's a tease he's a troll <laughs> the what if the basement filled hanji said they then proceed to go into the basement unfortunately i'm a little disappointed in the fact that you know there was no cure there was no antidote i really thought guys i was banking everything on it i really thought that because grisha was a doctor and they had brought up the cure so which kind of makes me think are we just not is healing titans a thing because connie had mentioned it at one point and or sasha did in that dining hall scene you know it's been mentioned a couple of times throughout that you know what if there's a way to turn them back Maybe it was Armin, I forgot, but it was in the dining hall scene. It was also in another scene, I believe. Is that just a dead end? Because again, I was relying on my entire theory on that. So now my season four predictions are a little scuffed. They don't really exist. I don't really have an idea, but I'm assuming these next three episodes will give me that. You guys said, again, these will be a big lore drop. But anyway, so we find the books in the drawer, we open it up and lo and behold, it's a photograph. Now, I don't know how I've gone, these many seasons without the thinking that there's a camera i i think the thing that got me was the journalists like i just assumed that they had a camera when they were printing papers i was just i just assumed that pictures were there and also with the fact I, I took it out of the last video just because it was like its own point and it just didn't really it just didn't really add a whole lot to the video but because odm gear is such a complex thing to me and we don't even have it you know in real life that because i knew that they had odm gear i kind of figured they had a camera but when grisha explained it on the back of the photograph it really had me 
kind of, you know, taken aback. And then we go into the outro where we see Grisha and his sister leaving the house. The mom tells them to put on an armband. Like I said, it reminds me of, you know, the 20s and 30s Europe and a certain, you know, era, a certain time. You guys know the deal. And, you know, the Hindenburg. So they leave the house, they look up in the sky, and there's a Zeppelin airship, which honestly really made me think about what all could be. There were a couple of comments in the last video, the one hour one, where you guys had said there were a couple more times where you know it could have been interpreted that there was another civilization for example when the beast titan was throwing he said you know perfect game and he was pitching like baseball there's just been a few instances where you know i just kind of assumed that things happened but i have to keep reminding myself that you know their memories were erased and this is a you know a much older time or like older era wooden houses and not brick and stone even the pavement that grisha and his sister were running on is different from you know the ones that aaron and mikasa wherever they are i don't even know basically what i'm trying to say is that civilization is pretty advanced in this time assuming that the flashback with grisha and his sister was like 2030s europe and what grisha grisha would what not be what 40 so what if, if he had zeke at like you know or let's say early 20s he goes to the walls meets carla has aaron aaron's grown what 15 he's what 16 so grisha's maybe 40 45 early to mid 40s so with that being said maybe 30 years has passed 25 30 years has passed since that flashback which means it would now be the 60s 70s so if wherever grisha was in that flashback continued with civilization the same way we did or you know the world did in real time then that means that they would have technology of that in the 60s and 70s which is really crazy to think about which actually gives me like an accurate depiction of you know their time and technology and where they're at but as far as theories and ideas go that's kind of as far as i can get with how much information i was given you know i can only interpret and deduct so much but yeah that's basically all i got i'm ready i don't know if my notebook's ready i don't think i don't think he's ready i mean he's about to get absolutely wrecked assuming what you guys are saying is true and these next three episodes are going to be insane i still need to do a demon slayer i want it to be on track with the three and three i have three episodes left of demon slayer three episodes left of attack on titan and i want the attack on titan season four episode one and mugen train to all be on the same day i want it to be an epic week i think next week will be an epic week i'm gonna try my hardest to get these videos out every single day but because these are such lore heavy videos my computer cannot handle it. my poor laptop is just getting at bro my laptop and notebook so pour one out for the laptop pour one out for my notebook and without further ado let's jump right into the video you guys are gonna have to let me know but i don't think i'm ready you guys said i'm gonna be writing my oh no one of you said i'm gonna get tarpal car tarpal connell good lord bro i was just i was just talking about how articulate i am tarpal connell nice connell wait Carpal tunnel. Tunnel carp. Yeah, carp. Bruh. Hello? Am I even. Is my brain even. Okay. It's carpal tunnel syndrome. You guys are, said I'm going to be writing so much. I'm going to get carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. What? A, bruh. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Good lord. Bro, that day. Okay. That day. Sounds ominous. Yeah, everyone's in suits. Wow, already starting out with going back, and I'm not—I'm not even a minute in, bro. <laughs> All right, so already off the bat, got Eldians. Bro, everything is so modern. I can't imagine what a Zeppelin airship would. That was like that was peak technology at one point. It's crazy. Guys, I'm just writing down stuff. I don't even ha I don't have any context to add to it. I'm just writing things down that are capitalized. <laughs> that typically means it's important. Liberio internment zone. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, this was definitely a different time. 
あて飛行船を見に来たんだろうせっかくだから見ていけよ That's nice 妹は翌日川で発見された私があの子を送ったのはヘレリオの手前までだ仕事が忙しくてな私はこのマーレチラン局の男だ嘘をついていることが分かった彼らは仕事をサボって河原で寝てたのだ忙しかったわけうん母は悲しみに暮れこの男にめまいのするような憎しみを覚えそれ以上に自分の愚かさを呪ったわお実はから1820年前我々の祖先ユミル・フリッツは第一の悪魔と契約し OK so I'm a little confused but I'm not even gonna ask a question because I'm at the beginning of the episode I'm just confused on the Ymir thing but ユミルは死後も9つの巨人に魂を割る Guys bro bro this notebook is about to get absolutely destroyed I'm not even what not even 5 minutes in not even 4 minutes in and I've already got Eldians Devil Blood Loberio Internment Zone Ancestor Ymir Fritz made contract with Devil of All Earth Ymir's spirit was in was split into the nine titans Te kok wo kizuita so shite tai kok maare wo horoboshi kono tai riku no shihai sha to naru Guys I'm going to have to edit so much bro I'm going to cut out probably 30 minutes of me writing Subjects of Ymir? Okay, so we actually get a map of where we are. Okay, so they said Great Titan War. 80 years ago, I think. 80 or 90. And they were basically, you know, ransacking everywhere. The three walls on the island of Paradis. Par- 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 How did he say? Paradis. Holy shit, dude. I actually want to look at that. So that's actually not that far from between the two places. Which makes sense on how everyone got there so easily. It's not like it was across the world. Wow. Bro, Grisha's eyes. I could never. No, no shot. I'm with Grisha on this one. So, the sister actually died. I mean, I know that's, I know that's what you know. Found the body by the by the river or whatever, but like. Wow. They're throwing shit at him too? I feel like I missed something, sorry. Patriot. Marley. Mar Marley? He said Marley. Okay, so right now we're in Marley. Is a patriot. Informant. In government. But you guys told me to keep my eyes peeled these few episodes. So, I'm literally gonna write down anything and everything. And if it's not important, then, you know, I'll just scrap it. But, like, I feel like we've gotten a lot of information so far. And we're not even, not even seven minutes in. So, as of right now, my current method is just writing down things that are capitalized or seem ambiguous or mysterious. God, this is so weird. Dude, that's so fucked up. I don't even know why I put the cat back on the pen. Okay, okay, so we already have a name for the informant. It's the owl. 
Okay. So Restorationist is capitalized. And he doesn't show himself. Damn. Grisha's massive brain. What the f Wow! So Grisha had Zeke with this girl. That is a good question. So these are the titans in the walls? Wow, they're all linked together. Holy shit. Wow, Grish is really running this. Yep. Now Wow. Yes, guys, that's what a holy shit. So Zeke was half royal the entire time. Dude, I really thought Zeke okay. Oh my god. So the half right, half wrong. Half wrong being that he is Historia's sister. But half right because he's half royal, chasing the founding titan. So his motive stays the same. Wow. So what the fuck happened here? I was about to say, when she started blushing and she like looked at Grisha with tears, I'm like, oh yeah, they fucking for sure. Wow. Hold on, guys, give me like 10 minutes. I'm gonna, obviously you guys aren't gonna wait 10 minutes, but I need to, I need to map this out. Okay, so Grisha is the Eldian, which is why he wears the armband and gets, you know, ridiculed and have shit thrown at him and had his sister die because of what? They just went past the bounds. And the Marlians are the ones who kind of run the show. Okay, but the Marlians need the Eldians to to be Titan. So if they need the Eldians to become, so Eldians are the only ones that can become Titans. And if they serve as vessels for the nine Titans and become Marlian warriors, then the family will be granted the title of an honorary Marlian. So that's weird how that works. How the Marlians are in charge, yet they need the Eldians to become warriors to work for them? Why would one of the Eldians, who become one of the Nine Titans, not instantly overthrow the Marlians? Right? If you're getting ridiculed like Grisha is, and you're getting absolutely shit on, then why would you not... <laughs> Why would you be like, oh yeah, sure, I'll take your, I'll just, I'll take your one of your nine titans, and then absolutely just plow them. Okay, so Marley has seven titans. So we know the founding is with the race family. That's one of them. All I have is quad, armor, female, beast, colossal, founding, Aaron titan. We know the founding is with the race. Bro, what am I missing? Quad? Beast, female, colossal, Aaron, founding, armor. So there's potentially two more intelligent titans left. Assuming I'm not so slow in the head. Tarple, Connell, nice. Connell, wait. So back to my previous point, if Marley has seven, why would those, th dude, that's seven out of the nine. Seven, bro, if the colossal, armored, and, you know, beast could do that much damage to she. Sorry if I butcher this. Shiganshina? 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 How could seven not overthrow the Marleyan government? I don't. 
that's that's kind of blowing my mind right now. That's really odd. Oh shit. Yeah, I take that back. Because I'm thinking if seven titans could do as much damage on Aaron, if they could do seven could do that much damage on Parody, easily overthrow them. But I forgot that technology and weaponry is advanced. Like like here, they have freaking like they have airplanes and and a boat, um, a boat with a freaking turret on it. Like, yeah, I take back my previous point. That would be extremely difficult to overthrow a government that has all of this. So, never mind. Wow. しかし私は知っていたはずだ。I So Zeke? Wow, so Zeke turned them in. I guess Zeke just couldn't handle, I guess, that much responsibility. I mean, to be fair, that is a lot of, um, you know, responsibility to put on a kid, right? You can see in Zeke's eyes that, you know, he's just not, he's just not about it. Which makes sense on why Grisha, yo, bro, Grisha did the same thing to Aaron. Grisha literally forced the injection on him, saying, like, you have to retake the walls. So Grisha... So Grisha's plan? So Grisha had this ultimate plan of fulfilling whatever to retake the founding. Bro, they just... Oh my god. Oh, so everyone got got. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's so fucked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
は懲罰室でエレンとミカサは平均班のお勤め中だよ怖い夢でも見たのエレン<笑>ミカサは hair bro 私はって言った<笑>言ってた泣いてる<笑> bro she looks so different Oh my god, I just got chills. Wow! <laughs> Are you fing joking me? Oh my god, I just got full body chills, bro. No shot. Guys, no, bro, you're f joking me right now. So Grisha's first wife, Dinah, becomes this bitch and eats his second wife and Hannes. Oh my, guys, oh my god. Isayama, you son of a bitch. No shot. Nah, this guy's unhinged. Oh, nah. Nah, this guy's, this guy's a dick. Evil, man. Wow. No way. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, you're talking big shit! Oh, yeah! Oh, that's so satisfying! Bro, he- Oh my god, guys! Bro, full body chills. Bro, this is. This guy looks just like Aaron Titan. Holy shit! This is how. Bro, that's. Bro, that's fucking epic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so Kruger is the owl, and he was the first one to have the Titan. Holy shit. Okay, so we have Eldians being the devil blood. We have Liberio internment zone. Ancestor Ymir Fritz made contract with devil of all earth. Ymir's spirit was split into nine titans. Great titan war 80 years ago. King erected three walls on the island of Paradi. So we're in Marley, and this guy is a patriot, the blonde guy that showed Grisha his mark. There's an informant in the government, which is the owl, which we saw as Kruger. Dinah Fritz, descendant of royal family. Grisha marries Dinah, has Zeke, which is really funny because my theory was right, just in the most wrong way. Grisha is an Eldian because the Eldians have armbands, they're ridiculed. Marleans are the one who runs the show. They're in charge. Fritz is it? So Dinah Fritz is also an Eldian royal line. Dinah is the last. Te technically Zeke is now. So Marleans need Eldians to be vessels. So Grisha. So Grisha was basically forcing his plan on Zeke. He couldn't take it. I mean, he's a kid, to be fair. So he turned in Grisha and Dinah to the police, and all of the restorationists got got. And the part that has me absolutely floored is the blonde titan is the one that ate Hannes and Carla. Bro, what are the chances? What are the chances that Grisha marries Dinah, Dinah becomes a pure titan, Dinah infiltrates the walls, eats Carla, and later eats Hannes. The owl, which is Aaron's titan, 
which is well, actually technically, again, like I said, Aaron's Titan is the Owl's Titan, but Aaron got it from Grisha, which means Grisha's gonna fucking eat Kruger. I know you guys said these episodes were gonna be jam-packed with information, but no, there was one comment that said my world is gonna get turned upside down. After this recording, I'm gonna go and see how many things I can correlate together with the information that we just saw. That's insane. Isayama. Bro, I've had a grudge against that fucking Titan this entire series and it was Grisha's first wife wow guys i'm absolutely just mind blowing right now for now i have a couple of like side notes um mikasa's bedhead pretty cute also the fact that aaron was thinking of Grisha's memories and they were real he's like feeling what Grisha's feeling aaron was crying for dino as he was remembering Grisha's memory of Dinah. Dude, that's insane. Also, fuck that guy. The guy that fed Grisha's sister to the dogs. And he was like, oh, I'm doing it because it's interesting. Oh, I have no remorse. And I've come to terms with death. As a matter of fact, motherfucker, you're about to die right now. I'm so, I'm so glad he got fed to the Titan. Oh, that's so poetic because he fed the sister to the dog and he got fed to a Titan. Oh, that's so good. Bro, Isayama... You, again, you son of a bitch. Wow, that is a masterclass episode. I want to upload this one. That way you guys can give me, like, more context and more insight on things that, like, you know, their full meaning because... I mean, I'll go back and rewatch it, but like, I, I, I guarantee, I'm guaranteed that I missed something, but those were all my notes. I know it says, I know it says Paradise, or it's spelled that way, but it's like Paradi. So we're on Paradi, and they're on Marley. Yeah, it's not that far, clearly, because Grisha and Dinah and the Restorationists were taken to Paradi from Marley. Wow. So... Okay, so he cuts his hand with the knife, transforms. So Grisha's gonna eat Kruger. Grisha's gonna make it to the walls. Keith finds him, claims he doesn't remember anything. He was a doctor, meets Carla, has Aaron, forces the injection, forces Aaron to become a Titan, has Aaron take his Titan. Aaron, Aaron takes the Titan, wakes up, Grisha's first wife as a pure Titan eats Carla. Bro, that's so crazy. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Bro, what a weird dynamic. Oh, yeah, my first wife ate my second wife. Uh, just your usual, uh, typical romantic life. Oh, Grisha, you were married again? What happened to her? Oh, you know, my first wife ate her. Guys, I'm gonna put together a timeline. That way, by the time I record the next one, like, I'm perfectly cleared up. And yeah, I want you guys to drop some comments and give me that full context because holy shit, dude. I know I missed some stuff, but like, wow, does it all come full circle. Isayama. Anyways, guys, let me marinate on my notes, connect all the dots and all the correlating factors and, and everything like that. Um, wow, what an amazing episode. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure as hell did. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have the full reaction on Patreon. I also have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, hope you all, all have a good one.